Hey guys, want to talk to you about getting the right pump for your pool. Okay, now a lot of times people replace their pump and they want to change the power of their pump since they're having to replace it. And their question is, how do I know what pump to get? Let me explain it to you this way. This is the way it works. What you do is you have your pool and you have your filter system, which includes your pump and your filter. What you want to do is match your filter system with your pool, not just your pump with your pool. If you get a real heavy pump and you have a small filter, you're going to overwork this filter. If you have a small pump and a big filter, you're, uh, you're going to overwork your pump. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to match your pump and your filter together with your pool. That's the most important thing, okay? Again, if you have this huge filter and you put a small pump on there, you're going to hurt your circulation. It has nothing to do with your pool size, uh, your water capacity. It has more to do with uh, your pump and filter system, okay? So, keep in mind you want to match your pump with your filter and then your filter system with your pool size, okay? For instance, I can kind of make this easy for you. If you have a pool that's 12, 13,000 gallons and higher, if you go with a one and a half horsepower pump and you match it up with a proper filter, which in a sand filter situation would be, let's say, 150, 200 pound sand filter. You wouldn't want to go any bigger and you wouldn't want to go any smaller with a one and a half horsepower pump, okay? If you put a one and a half horsepower pump with a 150 to 200 pound sand filter, you're going to get incredible circulation on any pool 12,000 gallons and higher, okay? Even some of the biggest above grounds because basically in a 12,000 gallon pool, you put that type of filter system, one and a half horsepower, let's say 200 pound sand filter, you're going to run all the water in your pool through that sand filter three times a day in a normal 10, 12 hour pump circulating um, cycle. Okay, So running all that water through your filter system three times a day is all the filtration you need and then some. Okay, Now, putting a pump and filter that big on let's say a 15 foot round or 12 by 24 oval, that's more circulation than you're ever going to need. Okay, You could even drop that down to a 100 pound sand filter with a one horsepower pump and have plenty of filtration. Okay, So that's kind of your limit there. If you're dealing with a 24 foot round or a 16 by 32 oval, which are equivalent in water capacity, one and a half horsepower pump and a 150 to 200 pound sand filter is going to be adequate for anything above a 24 foot round or a 16 by 32 oval. Anything less than that, you could go with a 100 pound sand filter and a one horsepower pump and you'd even be fine. Now, when you get way down to the real small above grounds, the 15 footers, the 18 footers, you could even go smaller if you wanted to. Um, I personally like a little more meat in my filtration system than what's necessary because I've noticed if you put a little more filtration on here, it's going to cut down on uh, having uh, water circulation issues. Your chemicals are going to stay more consistent. It's just a little better for you. Okay. So that's basically it. Really, you don't need anything more for an above ground pool than a one and a half horsepower and a 200 pound sand filter. Okay, That's pretty much going to handle every above ground pool. Above ground pools with a system like that, the water circulated so effectively and so efficiently above ground pools really are easy to take care of Okay, as long as you have a really good filter system for it. Okay.